When the United States was established in 1776, more than five million Native Indians were estimated to be living in the country. By 1900, the figure sharply dropped to about 250,000. The drastic reduction in population was a result of state-sanctioned killings and other abusive policies. The country was not so much built on justice and domestic tranquility as written in its constitution. It was born from the bloodshed of Native Americans and grew up without a Tony. I'm Jolly in Beijing. The genocide of Native Americans was systematically designed by America's founding fathers. Thomas Jefferson was the architect of the infamous Indian removal policies to be absorbed into the United States or face military obliteration. Andrew Jackson went even further. He ordered the widespread killing of American Indians and earned the nickname. Indian killer. It was a dark period when hundreds of wars and raids against Indians were authorized. Indigenous groups were brutalized, but the colonizers were not satisfied. The U.S. government ordered the forced removal of children from the native families to attend military-like boarding schools. They were forbidden to speak their languages or practice their religions. It was an explicit attempt at cultural erasure. Sadly, these facts have been covered up and purged. The genocide of America's indigenous peoples has been twisted into a story of a messianic mission to civilize the continent. Washington has failed to acknowledge its history and remains silent over its shameful past. And today, it continues to trample on the human rights of its own people and people around the world. Within its borders, weak gun control laws have led to rampant violence. An average of over 110 people died from shooting incidents every day in the country last year. Ethnic minorities suffered discrimination, whether from the COVID-19 pandemic or recent snowstorm relief and taxes. Beyond its borders, Washington has been no guarantor of human rights. It has caused one humanitarian disaster after another in Iraq, Syria, and elsewhere, all under the pretext of fighting terrorism. The result has been millions of innocent casualties. One has to ask: How could such a rampant human rights abuser have the audacity to accuse China of genocide against its Uyghur population in Xinjiang? Is it unaware that the Uyghur population has doubled over the past 40 years? As the world's sole superpower, the United States has a dominant sway on international public opinion. It can disguise itself as a champion of human rights. While it lies, cheats, steals, bullies, and kills at the same time, but the world is waking up to American double standards. Just as another U.S. president, Abraham Lincoln, once said, "You cannot fool all the people all the time."